Here we go, y'all. Um, so this video is my gift to anyone who is looking to pretty much steal my coaching program. Um, like, I want to make sure that you guys can learn as much as you can, as fast as you can. If you are a guitar teacher or a music teacher or something like that, um, I want to make sure you're delivering the best possible service that you can to your students. And um, this was a program that I built for myself when I was like trying to figure out the best way to teach best way to earn money through teaching so that I could put more time into growing my skill set. Because as teachers, if you're aware, um, you know, you can fill up your schedule, but you're just kind of like trading money for time. And then you're not really putting more effort into growing your skill set as a musician. Um, and if you're young and you have heaps of time in your hands and things like that, that's totally fine. Um, you know, you can like burn the midnight oil and things like that. For me personally, I struggled with it because, you know, I have a young family. Uh, I want to like I want to participate a lot with my family. So I was like, well, how can I optimize my teaching schedule? How can I optimize my earning capacity? And so this coaching program came about. So for me, uh, the most that I taught, like the most I charged for it at the time when I was doing this program was $800 for 10 days. So that basically would get the student, um, they would set a goal, they would achieve their goal within that 10 day period. Um, and like one of the best uh, outcomes from it was a, a father came in and he wanted to sing for his dad, for his daughter's wedding. And so basically within that 10 days, we got him from just jumping in and being a casual singer. And then he was able to sing the whole song and he did sing it on his daughter's wedding and it was amazing. So it was a really, really cool. Um, and I was really lucky because I also got to, I was playing at the wedding, so I got to play the song for him. So it was very, very cool. So um, yeah, it made me very happy. But basically what we're going to be tackling um, when it comes to this program is trying to hack uh, the pitfalls of, of modern music education the way I see it. Um, typically, uh, if you were going to learn mu learn music, so I'm kind of using using this from the the lens of a teacher, but if you're a student, um, this will completely ap apply to you as well because you can just do this yourself, um, especially if you're very driven and you've got like the work ethic to it, to pull it off. And um, if you're new here, my name is Luan. I'm a live streamer and content creator. Um, we have a free music school. The link is in the description. Jump in, have a bunch of fun. Um, I give away everything that I've been learning uh, to our community, our beautiful, amazing community that has brought me so much amazing things in my life. So I'm very appreciative of you guys and your time. So going right into it, uh, if you are a teacher typically or you're a student in music, uh, typically we've all kind of gone through the, the system of like, I have a music teacher and then I have my lesson once a week. And then you go through once a week lessons and then you finish like a term or you do like a 10 or 12 week stint and then you do it again and then do it again. And usually like the, the cadence of like the average student is they might practice one or two weeks and then they fall off pretty hard. And then usually the practice is in the lesson. Um, driven students will do a little bit more, but majority of students kind of like, you know, they're like, oh God, I have a lesson today. I got to practice. I used to do that all the time. So um, one thing I found that I was like, there's a there's a little thing in human psychology that that I learned from listening to Dr. K. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. He's a guy who runs healthygamer.gg. Um, very cool guy. But he had this thing that was like, um, we were born to be like um, people who like did something like lions, like lions will hunt and then they will hunt, eat, and then they chill. And so I was like, could that whole premise apply? I mean, he was he was saying that that's kind of how um, you can apply that to life in in your skill set and skill learning and skill acquiring. And I was like, I wonder if that will work for me. So what I would do was find the most optimal way to get good. Um, and what I stumbled upon uh, was through posting content, through constantly pushing myself to get better and better each time. Uh, and this is Jerry Garcia, uh, guitarist from Grateful Dead. He had like this quote of like, you just push your limits every single show. Um, but I found that when I did like a really, really solid amount of like, like a week or two week period where I was like, I'm going to get really good at X, uh, I would get really good at X and then I would kind of cruise and then I could come back into it. Um, at this point where I am in my career, I have kind of 
hacked my way. Uh, I live stream every day. So I kind of have con- condensed the learning to like a daily thing. So I'm like every day I'm like, oh, let's smash myself and let's get better. Let's get better. Let's get better. So, but that's kind of how I looked at the coaching program. So I was like, okay, how can I structure it for students? So basically the OG coaching program, not what I'm teaching right now with the, uh, with the school accelerated program, but the OG program, this is something that you guys might be able to take in. Uh, the way I would structure it uh, is I would have uh, four one hour lessons. And so the student would have one hour lesson on like a Monday, another one hour lesson on like a Wednesday or a Thursday. And then the following week, it would be another Monday one hour lesson. And then the following week would be like a Thursday or Friday one hour lesson. Now, in, and in those one hour lessons, they would define their goal. We would work through whatever they were have, finding challenging and whatever they did. And in between all of that, they had to post a video directly to me, either by text or in a Facebook group that we had. Um, and they would post that video. I would watch the video of their performance and then they would, I would give them feedback on whatever they were doing. And then we kept moving on. Um, and because they had like a daily set of accountability, they were able to get really good, really fast because what we find, well, what I've found in students and myself is if I'm not playing consistently, I'm not getting better. And so for me, I was like, oh, well, how do I hack consistency? Oh, live stream every day and then gig on the weekends. So like, for instance, this week, I'm going to play 10 shows. That's stupid. I wouldn't recommend it on anyone, but uh, for my goals, uh, I want to write a hit song. I want to get really, really good. I want to be as the best I possibly can be. So me playing seven days a week is really, really good for me. Um, Normally, I take one day off, but normally it's six days a week minimum. Uh, So that has been a huge unlock for me and it's helped accelerate my skill set and accelerate my growth. So that's all I did was just extract what I was doing and see like, oh, can this work for students? And it worked. Um, And the students got really, really good. Uh, I had one student never written a song, wrote a whole song. Another student uh, was struggling with chords and then went from being a guy who played open chords and fully developed his whole chord vocabulary. And he just built so much confidence. The guy is absolutely slaying. Uh, in his learning. Another another student, previously he would struggle so hard. And so this this other student, which is a really cool case study, which really blew my mind with it, right? He was one of my term students. He would have a one hour lesson every week for 10 weeks, and then would have a two week cooling period during holidays, and then he would do it again. Now, in one week, not even two weeks, not even hitting the two weeks, in one week, he got more growth in one week and I, it was visible. Like he got that much better in one week uh, but instead of doing the 10 weeks. So he got better in one week against a 10-week lesson term. So his condensed one week of learning carried him over skill set wise and actually he developed habits within that one week that truly just carried over for months. And so... This stuff works if you can like give it a shot. It's really, really awesome. So if you're a teacher, what you want to do is you want to figure out a cadence that you can handle um, and you don't have to charge $800. You can do it cheaper, whatever you want. Just figure out what your hourly rate is and then like prorate the um, however long you think it takes for you to watch a video and give feedback. But if you can encourage your students to do that, um, you can split up your week with like two one-hour lessons uh, and then over a two week period, I wouldn't push it past two weeks because two weeks, two weeks is a really nice, clean amount for people to go hard and then they can have like a bit of time off and then they can go back in hard again and then take a bit of time off. It's really, really, I find that because the first students that trialed the system, they did a month and the month was pretty brutal. Um, it was quite hard to get them to be consistent and post because they have like most people have lives. So if you're going to build the accelerator, like my coaching program, the accelerator program that I have, if you're going to build it for yourself and your school, what you want to do is set aside a time, no more than two weeks. I like if you guys test it out, definitely give me feedback on it. But I believe two weeks is like the cleanest amount. Um, and what you're going to do is separate two big sessions where they learn directly from you. And then outside in between all those sessions, give them a daily check in. They have to post a video you give them feedback. This is 
The reason why this happens and is very good is they have to record themselves. They get to see their mistakes when they record them and they get to see what you're seeing because they can see the video. And then when you point out the mistakes, they can see that too. And then the other super cool benefit from it is if they're making a silly mistake and say they were a very driven person, a driven person might be putting in an hour or two practicing each day and they might be practicing with a bad habit. And if you can cut that habit immediately uh, that day, then the next three or four days, say they were going to practice for another hour or two each day, um, they don't continue working on that bad habit. They immediately have pivoted and eliminate that and then start building better habits again. So you're now not like on a week cycle. So say the person comes in on the first day, then a week later, they've spent like four days building bad habits. Now you have to break those habits and then come back and then do it again. And that's like the vicious cycle of the weekly lessons. It works really well for budgets, but for growth, it's pretty useless. And um, like very rarely is it great. A lot of the times you're just hanging out with students like, and there's nothing wrong with it. Like if that's how you want to build your career and do those things, it just, for me, it just was not satisfying the itch of education. And it became like, this is the only, like in my early career, it was like the only way I could make money. And so until I could re replace that income stream with gigs and doing weddings and things like that, then I was like, okay, well, I'm going to have to do this until then. And then once I achieved that, then I was like, I'm not doing that anymore. Um, and I recently tried to do it again and it was like the same problem came up. But yeah, if you can try this coaching program, it's going to be mint. Uh, like give me a feedback, let me know. Uh, it is really, really cool thing you, you can do for your students. Even if you don't, you don't have to charge crazy amounts of money. For me, that's just what I was like, this is what my time is worth. And so that's, that was how I was going to approach it. But you could just jump in and be like, okay, well, you know, an hour lesson of mine is like $50 or $60 an hour. And then, you know, or like, so for me, it was $100 an hour for a lesson. So if you're going to do like $50 or $60 an hour, then you can be like, okay, well, I do four hours of lessons maybe. And then actually the best way to price it um, might be like four hours of lessons and then just uh, deduct, uh, just make that the price. Cause then you have the in-betweens that like those weekly things, you can make them feel like, well, look, you're getting four one hour lessons and then you are getting all this extra feedback, but then paying in bulk in that four week, in that two week period is a nice little cash injection for you to keep growing. Uh, and then hopefully like build your business and be more successful and save more money and do cool things. So I don't know how you decide to price it, but I mean, that's a, that's like the lower tier of pricing that I would approach for the program. Now, if you are a student and you're like, well, this is all fine and well, Lauren, you're talking to, to teachers, but if you're a student, you can totally just steal what I'm saying and just apply it and just be like, okay, I'm going to build my practice schedule. And then what you're going to do is you're going to be like, okay, every two to three days, I'm going to do a hard practice session, like a practice session where I'm like really going to push myself on something that I'm not very good at on the task that I've set for. Like say I'm like, I'm going to learn X solo or X song. I will learn the first verse or the first like main lick of the solo or whatever you decide to do. You, you do a big chunk of your practice. Then the next day, you make sure you record a video of yourself at the end of every practice session. And then the next day, watch that video and be like, what am I going to work on today? That's going to be a little bit better. And then you work on that little thing, a little, little, just like tiny little bit better. And then rewatch that video, the, the new video at the end of your practice session. And then be like, okay, cool. That's where I'm at. Tomorrow, I'm going to do a bit better. And then the next day, you practice a little bit and then you record yourself. And then after like two days, do another hard practice session. You don't want to be going hard, 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 hard. Cause it's going to, it's going to like, you're going to lose steam right away. And it's going to be pretty challenging for you. So that's most people won't be able to do that. I couldn't do that. The only reason I can do a lot of performing is because I have a stream and the stream keeps me accountable because I say I have to be there at 12 and that's my hack for myself. If I know I have to be there for people, I'm there and I play and I deliver. So I know if I have a guitar in my hand and I have people watching me, I will do a good job and I will try my hardest. So that's why 
I do things the way I do them. I'm like, that's just how my brain works. I don't know how to like, I can't tell you exactly to do that because it's not something I recommend. It's not a normal thing. Um, and it requires a lot of work and, and like a lot of challenging <laughs> mental hurdles to get over. Um, but yeah, so you can just pay, basically set a goal for your... <laughs> oh my God, someone just followed us on Twitch while I'm recording this video. That's epic. Um, so <laughs> that's wild. Um, so I'm not even going to re-record this. We're going to keep it. That's so funny. That is so cool. Um, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to keep that system in place and then what you'll do is you'll set your goals and you'll be like, all right, I'm going to do this for the next like 10 days. And then you just knock it out. So every two or three days, big practice session, but every day play for at least 10, 15 minutes, record yourself, look at your mistakes and be like, I can improve on this. Um, and that's pretty much how you can do it. And so this is the best practice method I have discovered for myself, uh, for my other students for my community, like it is absolutely amazing. This is the entire foundation of what I do in my accelerated program. All my music courses are free. The School of Music has every single thing. All the knowledge is free and it will always be free. My goal uh, for my career is at this point to scale up the, the stream and then I want to perform online all the time and then I want to write a hit song and then I want everything I learn, learn along the way or anything that you guys think that I can give you, like I'm doing something, can you show me this Luan? I want to give that away to you guys for free because a lot of people, we've got some people who have given hunt, literal a thousand hours of watch time on my stream. And I, I am so blown away by that stuff. And so that's what the school is all about to give you guys that. The accelerated community, that is if you guys want my time. So like I charge for my time uh, and I've found I can create an accelerated community and the way that one works is you jump into the community and then you go, once you join the community, you will basically start posting videos of yourself playing. Um, and then I'm just gonna give you feedback. Uh, so you post a video and the rules are no one's allowed to give you feedback of criticism. There's no criticism allowed in, the, in any of the chats because I believe uh, criticism can always be perceived the wrong way. And I don't like that. Um, uh, I think I heard this is actually a sales technique, right? So I learned this from Alex Hormozzi. This is how he trains his sales teams. Uh, and Alex Hormozzi is like one of the like goat, um, business entrepreneur guys. He like scales companies from like 10 million to hundred million a year. He's crazy good. So this is, a, it was so crazy of a hack that I heard this and then applying it has been amazing. Um, so what you're going to do when you when you teach when you're teaching? Sorry, you can see I'm excited because we've done it and already in like three days, like some students have just been like amazing, like just absolutely slaying it in the progress. Um, what you do is you play, uh, like the student will play. They will record their video, and then after they record their video, they then review their video and they have to self-analyze. They have to be like. What did you, they do wrong and what can they improve on in the next in the next uh, practice session or video that they post? Once they do that, that's good. That Then that information that I get, I get the video of them playing and then I get the information of what they are seeing. So that allows me to be like, okay, if there is a problem in what they are seeing and where they can improve, improve then I will fix that. And that's me like slightly pivoting and adjusting their their trajectory and fixing their blueprint and then they learn for to look out for that in the next next video or next performance that they do then we have everyone else in the community give them feedback that's positive they say what they did right they'll be like oh that slide was wicked oh my god i love how you sang that note oh i love this verse lyric and like whatever it is and the balance between me giving some constructive criticism then the student self-analyzing and learning how to be self-sufficient and then the community cheering them on is like a magic, like it's like a perfect storm of accountability and growth. And so that's how I would recommend um, if you're someone who's building a community like how, how I am, if you go and do some coaching with your students, totally, I mean, just steal that shit, like go in and do it. Um, it doesn't make a difference to us. Uh, my goal is to build the stream and hopefully I'm successful and I make money and I can pay my bills and all that stuff. But Really, if anyone's wanting to join the community uh, for the coaching, they, they're looking for me. So 
like you can bring that same value to your students, to your communities and things like that. And if you're interested in building a community through school, I'll put my affiliate link below, help support me. And if this is bringing you, bring you value as a teacher, that's wicked. Um, so yeah, I just want to share my two cents on how you guys can jump in, take uh, this learning, this new little education system that I had created for myself that has proven to be very successful and really, really like it's, it was like a duh moment. I'm, I'm sure someone has figured this out before, but like for me, no one had given me this information. And if I hadn't known I could teach this way, um, I would have absolutely loved it because yeah, it is really, really hard being the teacher, watching students not progress. Uh, you know, you feel like you're wait, like they're wasting their money. That's how I felt when I see a student come in and they haven't practiced, they haven't done anything. I'm like, Oh, God, like, uh, why are you here? Like, if you don't want to practice, why are you here? That, which is so weird because you're like, well, I've got a job. Like, of course I want this person to keep showing up, but you would just be like, I hate that you're wasting your money. Or like, say I would meet families where like the parents are obviously really struggling or trying really, really hard. And they just want their kids to be exposed to more things. And like, or it's like a, a kid who, or like, a, you know, an adult or anyone who's just like really, really wants the music thing, but they can't seem to find the accountability. They can't seem to find that growth. They jump in and they practice and they making mistakes. And it's like, uh, it, it's heartbreaking as a teacher because you want to be bringing value. I don't know. Some teachers might be totally comfortable with being like, yeah, no, nah, student, they show up, fuck up. Like, they might be like that. I couldn't do that. I, it would... Like you can even ask my wife, the amount of rage that I've had from teaching is unbelievable. Like having to sit down and be like, like I want you to get better. Why don't you want to get better? <laughs> like, why? what? What is going on? What can I do? Um, so, yeah, I found that that was that was a struggle. But anyway. Um, this new model has been absolutely amazing for me. So that was transformative. As soon as I did the new model and I've done this coaching thing since, it has been so cool. It's so cool to watch people posting their progress regularly. You can see that they're practicing. They're watching other people practice as well. So they get motivated. So even if they're just checking in, they might not be posting, but they're getting information, feedback loops. They're watching people improve. They're learning how to be more self-critical. They're learning to be independent. And that's what I kind of want every student to be. I want everyone to understand that there is a skill set to learning and you can learn how to be self-sufficient. You can learn how to be independent in music. And that's what my goal is with my uh, teaching. So take that all, do it yourself, have heaps of fun. If you need my hand to like hold and help you get through it, um, join our community, feel free. It's going to be wicked. Um, and uh, yeah, can't wait to see you guys in the next video and any of my other videos. Please keep learning. Please jump into the communities and chat. Um, let us know what you want to learn. Let us know what content you're after. But hopefully this serves the teachers in helping improve their teaching. Uh, and hopefully this helps you if you're an independent learner already so that you can learn faster on your own and make, and even if you're paying for lessons, it's going to make you better as a student and, and succeed even more. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Let's go.